Paytech fans going to now try and explain a couple of reasons why eye tracking in VR could change the face of VR completely. Okay, so the eye tracking we're looking at at the moment is modded into an Oculus Rift here. It's been put together by a company called the Eye Tribe. Now, the first reason this is really exciting technology is that inside of games, it's going to give you a lot more playing options. So, for example, here, I can look around at all these different buildings just by moving my eyes without having to move my head completely. Something else that's really cool is that if I focus on this Viking chap here for a few seconds, he spins around and he gets very angry. And uh, it's a little bit crude at the moment, but you can imagine further down the line the amount of options and playability that's going to get you in video games with things like maintaining eye contact with other characters and how immersive that could potentially make playing games on VR. Reason number two, immersive gaming and new techniques and stuff is all well and good, but game developers care a lot about resolutions and power and technical limitations. And there are advantages that come from eye tracking there as well. So what we're looking at here is something called foveated rendering. Now what this basically does is wherever I happen to be looking in the frame, that spot is rendered with huge clarity, with very high resolution, and everything else can become a little bit more blurry. So in terms of processing, that means that you're able to make the stuff that you're actually focusing on in the game look really good, while everything else can take the slack a little bit. So it's early days for this technology and for VR in general, but I really think that eye tracking could do a lot to boost VR's usability.